ओके सो अप टू नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस द ईवर्ड स्मॉल मॉडल एंड इन द ईवर्ड स्मॉल मॉडल यू कैन सी दिस इज द एक्चुअल डायग्राम ऑफ द ईवर्ड स्मॉल मॉडल नाउ इन द ईवर्ड स्मॉल मॉडल वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड वाई द ट्रांजिस्टर मॉडलिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड फर्स्ट ट्रांजिस्टर मॉडलिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द एनालिसिस ऑफ द ट्रांजिस्टर इन योर ए सी एनालिसिस ओके एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव टू रिप्लेस द ट्रांजिस्टर विद दिस इक्विवेलेंट मॉडल वेन एवर वी वॉन्ट टू एनालाइज द ट्रांजिस्टर इन ए सी सर्किट ओके नाउ ऑल्सो वी हैव डिसकस द एडभान्टेजेस अफ दिस इवोस्मल मडल द एडभान्टेजेस अफ द एडभान्टेजेस अफ द इवोस्मल मडल इज दैट इट कैन भी भैलीड फर अल अपारेटिंग रिजियन दैट मीस फोर अपारेटिंग रिजियन अफ द ट्रांजिस्टर कैन भी इजिली एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प अफ दिस मडल बट द प्रब्लेम दिस विथ दिस मडल इज दैट द नन लिनियर इट इज ए नन लिनियर मडल बिकज डायट इज बींग यूज हेयर डायोड इक्वेशन इज बी यूज हेयर टू मडल द ट्रांजिस्टर एंड फॉर दैट पार्पास वी कैन नट एनालाइज द सार्किट उथ द हेल्प अफ द लिनियर नेटवर्क थियोरियम एप्लीकेशन सो दैट इज द प्रब्लेम अफ दिस मडल दैट्स वाई वी डू नट यूज दिस मडल इन अवर एनालिसिस ओके ना ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन प्रिवियसली then uh, one of the example then how the active mode of operation can be modeled with the help of the ebersmal model uh, in the ebersmal model the active mode of operation the emitter base junction is forward bias so we have uh, made this transistor on and the collector base junction is reverse bias so that we made this transistor off here this transistor open circuited and as this transistor is off icd will be zero for that purpose this dependent source will be zero and this dependent current source is dependent on this diode as this diode is on this dependent current source will be there the with the help of this understanding we have modeled this active mode of the transistor with the help of this ebersmal model now from now onwards we will uh, we will go uh, um, further and try to model the transistor that is the t model now in this uh, lecture we will try to model the transistor in a different way okay and we will uh, discuss this transistor model this t model by a clue from the m ever small model okay we will simplify the ever small model and we will try to eliminate the nonlinear element for the ever small model so that this uh, new t model can be applied in our ac analysis now in the active now and from now onwards we will try to analyze the transistor in the active mode of operation why active mode of operation we will try to analyze the transistor because in the active mode of operation transistor can be used as an amplifier so from now onwards we will try to model the transistor in the active mode of operation so in the active mode of operation the ebors mode model actually tells that so i am drawing just the ebors mode model so in the ebors mode model i am just flipping it to the vertical down okay so this is your emitter in the common emitter mode okay so this is your base this is your emitter so between the base and emitter there is a diode and current flowing through the diode is ied i have said previously and also the dependent current source exist for the case of the collector current okay and this dependent current source is nothing but alpha f ied and this is your collector terminal ied okay and this is your collector terminal and the collector current is flowing through is ic okay and this is your base terminal current flowing through this is ib and this is your uh, emitter terminal ie and we have considered here is we have considered here is the npn transistor okay so this is the uh, actually uh, the evor small model so this is nothing but the evor small model uh, and the operating mode of the transistor we are assume is the active mode okay and we have uh, made this emitter section ground that means the common emitter mode the common emitter mode of operation active mode of operation and we have considered that the npn transistor so this is nothing but the modeling of the transistor uh, with the help of the ebors small model and we have considered only the active mode of operation okay common emitter mode now we will try to 
move on from here move on from here and try to model this uh, replace this nonlinear element or try to eliminate this nonlinear diode element from the circuit so that our new two model will be established and we can analyze the or we can use this model in our AC analysis okay so this IC IC current okay this IC current can be represented as here uh, in place of this uh, alpha f okay alpha f ied i am just uh, writing down this in place of this alpha f ied we have assumed that this dependent current sorry we have assumed here this is dependent current source this dependent current source is nothing but your alpha into ie in the ac circuit analysis we have made this uh, ie as small okay so ie okay so and also the ic is represented as ic is represented as alpha ie all of you know that the ic is represented by this alpha ie so that's why this is alpha ie in the ac analysis we have made this not the capital letter small letter okay and ic can be also be represented as ic can also be represented as beta ib and it is also just like this alpha i both these equation are true and this diode what about this diode so this diode uh, in the ac analysis there is whenever we try to model the diode ac model whenever we try to devise the ac model of a diode then we mention a resistance diode resistance and this diode resistance equation for the diode resistance is thermal voltage divided by the diode current okay uh, if you don't know this uh, the a diode ac equivalent model just read out this diode ac equivalent model so this is if we want to replace the diode in the ac circuit then uh, this is the replace with the resistance with this vt equal to vt divided by id okay now here if you want to uh, we analyze or replace the transistor in the ac circuit so we want to replace this uh, diode with the help of a resistance so this diode resistance can be represented as or can be write down as i'm just removing this so this diode we can replace this diode re resistance okay as it's connected to emitter so i have uh, write down as a re and volt uh, this is the thermal voltage and that this is the diode current here is the diode current is i okay in place of ied we are assuming that it is i okay so this is the equivalent diode that we want to replace okay so the model actually looks so what what we can assume here is that we have made ied and uh, this uh, thing ied is replaced by ie and this ic can also be represented by beta ib not the alpha ib alpha I is also equation beta ib is also equation so we want to replace the ic with the, this beta ib and uh, we want to replace the diode with this re why re because the die in the diode ac model diode can be replaced as a resistance this resistance value is vt divided by id here this is a resistance re and this is also nothing but vt divided by ie because the current flowing through the diode is ied okay hope this is clear with this understanding we move forward and try to redraw the model so if you want to redraw the model so model actually look like this this is your base this is your equivalent diode resistance between the base and the emitter so this is your emitter this is your base okay and this is the resistance re this is the current flowing through is ie and this is current flowing through is ib we take the smaller letter to make this is a ac equivalent model this is the dependent current source and this dependent current source is beta into ib and this is the collector terminal and this is the emitter terminal so just look at the diagram we have just replaced this uh, this diagram look at this diagram this diagram previously there is your alpha into ied alpha into ied in place of alpha into ied is replaced this is beta ib because IC can be also be represented as beta IB. So alpha into IE. IC can also be represented as 
alpha into i it can be also be represented beta ib so that's why we replace this with beta ib and in place of diode in place of diode we replace this diode with the help of a resistance because diode ac equivalent whenever we want to analyze the ac equivalent model of diode it can be represented a resistance re and this resistance is nothing but vt divided by i okay so hope this model is clear to you now move on further this voltage base to emitter voltage okay this base to emitter voltage also can be represented as v b so what do you mean by the vb vb is nothing but i into re you can see from the diagram vb is nothing but i into re okay now what is i what is this i all of you know i equal to ib plus ic ic is equal to beta ib so 1 plus beta i is nothing but 1 plus beta into ib into re okay so this is the equation for this vb so this is a term and this is also a term we are just one minute so this can also be represented as we are just taking this ib out and in place of resistance we are just taking this re okay so this is the ib into re so this can be your equation for vb okay so moving forward moving forward this model can be represented so here you, you one one thing you can see this ie can be represented as this ib plus this beta ib so ie can be represented as from this node kcl equation ib plus beta ib and this vb can be represented as this so these two we can represent in a different way okay so how we can represent this in a different way we are uh, doing nothing new we are just minimize the circuit or try to simplify the circuit okay so this can be represented as so this is your base between base and emitter there is a resistance i have said that so this current is your ib okay so this is ib and this is the resistance there is a voltage drop between the base and the emitter so this is your emitter and this is your base okay and this voltage can be represented as i am just writing down the voltage equation so ib ib is the current and resistance we can replace the resistance as 1 plus beta into re so this resistance can be represented as 1 plus beta into re okay so this resistance current is flowing through is ib so 1 plus beta into re okay and um, this is your emitter terminal current flowing through the emitter terminal this is your emitter terminal okay so current flowing through the emitter terminal is 1 plus beta 1 plus beta into ib 1 plus beta into ib now here through this uh, through this path ib current is flowing so beta ib current is missing so this beta ib can also be compensated as like this so this is your so this current is nothing but your beta beta ib okay so this current is nothing but your beta ib so you can see this current through the emitter previously through the emitter current is flowing through is ib plus this beta ib so 1 plus beta 1 plus beta into ib so ib plus beta ib so ib current is flowing through here this path and beta ib is current is flowing through this path and through the emitter the total current is flowing is 1 plus beta into ib okay 
and through the base the IB current is flowing and the base emitter voltage 1 plus beta into RE so the base emitter voltage 1 plus beta into RE into IB so IB current is flowing through this and 1 plus beta into RE so base emitter voltage is also satisfied so this is also a moving forward uh, through this diagram after this diagram we can get this model okay we can get this model now moving also forward in the common emitter configuration whenever we want to study the output characteristics all of you know that the output characteristics is not flat okay so how the output characteristics look like output characteristics is something steep like this so how this steepness is actually associated with this steepness is associated with effect okay this is a effect this effect is called nothing but your early effect okay if you don't know the early effect just uh, see what do you mean by the early effect and how this in the output characteristics of the common emitter configuration this is your current ic and this is your voltage vc so how this early effect is associated with so early effect is associated with the output terminal or the collector terminal between collector and emitter there is early effect between this okay so we must incorporate this effect in our model so due to the considering the early effect there is a term in the early effect output characteristics what do you mean by the early effect i am just writing down early effect next i am considering the early effect and what is this early effect early effect is nothing but output characteristics output characteristics is not is not flat but a slope but a slope exists and this slope is represented by the output resistance okay this output resistance is also represented by r0 so this is nothing but early voltage divided by the current icq okay so this is the representation of the output resistance or the early effect resistance in the characteristics so r0 naturally the value of r0 is very high the value of r0 is very high what is the range of this r0 the range of this r0 is in mega ohm okay so in our model we just incorporating we just incorporating this resistance so this is your r0 so r0 is coming from here so this is almost a and also this is your collector terminal and the voltage is v c exist between collector and your emitter terminal so this is almost a complete model for your transistor t model okay and whenever we want to analyze or want to reach this t model we starting from the eversible model and then consider the active mode of operation and from there we replace the nonlinear diode element with a uh, equivalent resistance and from there we just uh, minimize the circuit in such a way that uh, this model is arrived finally this model is arrived okay so this is almost uh, a complete model for the common emitter configuration of the transistor okay. and for the npn and pnp configuration in our ac model that does not change because ac current is alternate between each half of the cycle in one half of the cycle it is positive and the next half of the cycle it is negative so the current direction will be just the reverse in both the cycle so the model will not change in your ac analysis okay so this is all about the t model and how we want to use this t model in our circuit analysis next we want to see and there is also a collector to emitter uh, voltage is there there is a voltage collector to emitter voltage and this collector to emitter voltage vc vc is nothing but the current is flowing through like this from this beta iv the current direction is something like this and if you want to analyze this voltage like this 
or consider the voltage vc as like this so vc is nothing but negative okay so actually voltage drop is here from positive to negative but uh, we consider this uh, voltage reference is plus minus like this so this is beta ib negative of beta ib negative of beta ib into r0 okay so which is less than zero so one there is a exist is 180 degree phase shift so previously when i discussed the common emitter configuration in our transistor analysis i have said that in the common emitter configuration characteristics of the common emitter configuration there is a 180 degree phase shift exist between the input and the output that is the kind of inverting amplifier configuration okay that we have uh, studied in our op amp okay that means whatever input we have given at the input just the 180 degree phase shift version is we get at the output okay so that is the case so this is the common emitter configuration if, if you want to know the common base configuration how the common base configuration actually look like this t model look like then uh, in the common base configuration all of you know the common base configuration so this is your base npn transistor this is your collector and this is your emitter okay and if you want to replace this model with the first day possible model then this is your transistor uh, sorry diode exists between the base and the emitter so this is your base base is common and there is a dependent current source is there so this current source is just by the alpha alpha i okay and this is your collector and this is your base and this is your emitter and this current is your i current okay so this is the common base configuration and if you want to just replace the model the common collector if we just replace the model with the help of the uh, this previously the same model then we want to t model then we want to replace this as this is your this is your emitter so this is your emitter and this resistance is your re okay and this is your emitter current this is base and between base this current is collector current so this is alpha into i okay and between collector and the base common base there is a existence of the resistance output resistance due to the early effect so this is your base terminal and this is your emitter current flowing so this is the emitter current flowing this is the collector current flowing the difference between your base current so the base current is nothing but i into 1 minus alpha so this is the t model for the common base configuration and why it is i, I into 1 minus alpha because your base current is the difference between the emitter current and the collector current so the emitter current is you can see i and collector current is alpha into i so it is 1 minus alpha into i so that is represented by this base current okay so this is the base current and this is the output resistance this is the output resistance due to the early effect this is the output resistance due to the early effect and this is the collector current alpha into i and this is the diode equivalent this is the diode equivalent resistance in our ac model okay so this is the whole model in the common base configuration and this is a common collector and the common emitter configuration and the same drawing common emitter and the common collector the same drawing and also i have seen say, said that npn and the pnp transistor ac model is same this ac model is same okay so with this understanding with this model next we will um, analyze the circuit of the voltage divider bias of the common emitter voltage divider bias circuit okay with an input common emitter amplifier we will analyze the circuit in our next lecture with the help of the this model
we replace the transistor with the help of this model and we will try to study the different characteristics what are the different characteristics different characteristics the input impedance output impedance uh, voltage gain overall voltage gain like this okay this parameter we try to derive from the diagram so our next topic of discussion is the common emitter common emitter amplifier with the help of this t model analyze the common emitter amplifier with the help of this t model thank you